Hello, this is King. So, I want to talk about a comic I read a few months ago. It's a little late, but it was stirring in my head for a while. It's uh, IDW Sonic issue 50. This comic is interesting. It's by Ian Flynn, the colorist. Well, the art is by uh, Adam Bryce Thomas. Colorist, I believe, is Matt Herms. I have to double check. But I wanted to give my thoughts on this comic. It's not bad. For 50th anniversary issue of IDW Sonic, I'd give it a thumbs up. Now, to understand this comic, you have to read the previous issues. This is the 50th anniversary. There's 49 other comics to go by. But this comic also feels like it can stand on its own. You only have to read a few issues of the previous Sonic comic and read the four part issue of. What was that name? Add the two new characters uh, Imposter Syndrome. And you get the gist of it. But it's a simple story. Sonic and Tails and Bell, who is a puppet. Heh, <laughs> what a puppet. They go to Eggman's Egg Pure City because all the robots, for some reason, are being drawn there, including Bell, until Tails stuck a Zeddy Zapper on her back. And while they're there, Sonic is suddenly ambushed by uh, Sir Tenric. And at the same time while that's happening, Tails is attacked by Kitsunami the Finnick. And Bell, meanwhile, is repairing Metal Sonic. Although why she's doing that in a city overrun by robots, I don't know. Anyway, the comic starts off with uh, Sonic and Surge fighting. Surge spouts out a huge tirade about how Sonic is no better than Eggman whole time Sonic just looks at her wondering who is this chick and tries to talk to her politely saying hey I'm Sonic you are and her response is trying to kick his ass Tails meanwhile is in the same boat as Sonic he's confused why this little blue fox that can make water tentacles come out of his back is attacking him Tails being Tails, he's very polite. He talks about how cool his backpack is, how cool his attacks are. And Kitsunami, he's just confused. He expected a big showdown, and all he's getting is praise. It's enough to make him stop and talk to the fox. Actually, listen now. While that's happening, there's a third battle going on. Eggman and Starline, they're bunny heads. Eggman escaped after Stalin took over the entire base and stuck into one of his old robots that he pilots without a Wi-Fi password. Okay, cool. So Starlin realizes he cannot take down this robot with just a glove. His glove can give him super strength, super speed, and jump really high, but it's not enough. So he goes, gets his own giant egg robo, and it's like a giant kaiju battle with robots. Anyway, to close the story, Sonic defeats Surge when he tries to help her because she's about to fall off a cliff. She instead zaps him and then falls down well, to her doom, but it's a Sonic comic, so she's probably okay. Meanwhile, Kitsunami he was about to listen to Tails until Tails mentioned Sonic, and that made the Fennec realize, oh wait, I have to take this guy down, because he is going to try to help Sonic, and Surge has to beat Sonic. So Tails, you know, is fighting Kit, but he's doing it in a way where he's making Kit waste all of his water. And once Kitsunami realizes it's too late, he can't use anything. He needs water from outside sources. So he tries to gather some water in a panic. Tail sneaks behind him, shuts off the backpack, and the Fennec falls over. Tails wins. He has no idea if he hurt the little guy, but he won't. 
Meanwhile, Eggman and Starlord are going back and forth in their giant robos. And Eggman manages to get in a good shot and take out Starlord's robot. But Starlord realizes this robot Eggman's piloting it's a similar one used in the one Sonic game, Sonic Heroes. Uh, all I know is that it takes three people to take down the robot. With speed, Sonic, power, Knuckles, and flight, Tails. So Starline, whose thumb is powered by these power cores, utilizes this combo and takes out Eggman's robot. But Eggman foresaw this because Starline drained his entire glove of power. He can't use it. So he tries to use his glove to hypnotize him, but Eggman foresaw that too. And to close this battle, Eggman wins. Starlight tries to kick him, Eggman grabs his leg and just slams him down. That's it, it's over. And then Bell comes along after repairing Metal Sonic, and well, this is a quick, it's a quick uh, dialogue. Eggman tells Bell she can join him, she refuses. And he says, whatever, fine, he leaves. And Belle tries to tell Starline to get out of there because everything, the, her whole place is crumbling. But Starline, he is in no shape to move. He is just, he just, he's broken. Because he spent, I don't know, the comic was probably just weeks, but in real time it was months, trying to take down Eggman. And he failed. Every single one of his meticulous plan Eggman foresaw and defeated him in just minutes. And Bell sees the debris fall on Starline, and yeah, he's dead. It's been confirmed that Starline was killed off in this comic. So, to end the long story short, the good guys won, but with the casualty of Starline, which isn't a casualty. He kidnapped two people. Well, they're called Mobians, talking animals experiments on them did who knows what besides hypnotizing them put them through such torture and the little platypus dies yeah I doubt Sark is dead in a comic like this they just came and she dies in that one issue where she fights Sonic one time they got plans for her who am I kidding right now it's 2023 and she's already appeared in six more issues but yeah, spoiler alert, Surge is alive, and so is Kit. Although in that last issue I read, you know, they're alive. Starline made it, so it is a bitch to try to kill them. Anyway, that's all I got for this review. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.